Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 11 where I'm continuing my flight in the SR-71 Blackbird and this time we're going to fly from Cape Canaveral to St. John's in Newfoundland that in preparation to cross the Atlantic. Now unfortunately I didn't pick up exactly uh, on, at the p position where I was and that's because I got waylaid. I was initially going to just continue to flight directly but uh, it turned out I had other things to do that I did not expect. So uh, there has been a bit more of a delay, but in-game there has not. We're uh, picking it up, um, assuming about a 30-minute refueling process. I don't actually know how long it took to uh, refuel the, um, the SR-71. I think, uh, le hold on, let's check the exact time, local. Uh, local time, 3.41 local uh, p.m. And so... It's possible it'll be dark at St. John's by the time we get there. So, yes, that's a bit of a worry. But let's get on with it. I guess I'll start the takeoff run in here. And breaks off. Okay. So hopefully I can do this efficiently, but we've got a lot of places to visit along the eastern seaboard. I mean, lots of sites, but I don't think we're going to be flying low enough over like Washington DC or Philadelphia or New York to, well, I'll try and dip down at New York. That's, that's always fun anyway. At least so we can see Manhattan properly. Nothing too dangerous. Come on, you. Okay. Always have to be wary of stalling it, of course. But no problems there right now. We're well above that. And we are already headed north. This runway was runway 33. But while they are nice clouds, they're also inconvenient clouds. So yeah, if you want to suggest places I should fly over, please do. But on this flight, at least, it's really hard to hit them sometimes because, I mean, even with the Grand Canyon, I wasn't able to start at the part that I wanted to because at full speed, this thing takes like 300 miles to turn around. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, when I fly with other planes in the future, though, I'll make sure to keep those locations on a list so that I can plan ahead. Also, I suppose if you know of a good uh, X-Plane plane, freeware or part of the game already that uh, you would like to see, uh, feel free to make those kinds of suggestions too. I enjoy trying out different planes, uh, just in general. I'm, I'm more of a airplane nomad than somebody who specializes in a particular plane, so... In fact, uh, it would not be unreasonable for me to fly a round-the-world flight with each leg of the flight being a different plane. That would be a very reasonable thing for me to do. I feel like there is an optimal uh, estimated airspeed that they would go with and just try and stick to that and then that would uh, be the w way to accelerate through this like somewhere between 500 and 600 knots. As long as you keep to that, it'll be very smooth. Okay, still loading the real world weather, despite the off timing. And um, still cloudy, uh, though there seems to be breaks out there. Maybe we'll be able to see stuff after all. Yeah, if you really want to fly this plane optimally, the flight envelope is tight, but it's not 
as bad as, say, uh, the Concord. That you have to be really touchy with. This is finicky, but Concord is worse. Well, right there is Jacksonville. So, whoops. So basically to our west right now. Yeah, tough to see anything. Okay, we are now approaching Georgia. You can see the GA-20 on that airfield. I don't know, the land seems to have changed a bit since this map was developed, but that seems to be Cumberland Island. Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, the map I'm looking at actually has an island over here. But that's Jekyll Island. I guess it's Mr. Hyde Island that disappeared? I'm not sure. Very suspicious. Uh, we're, we're not really going to be flying over Atlanta like this, are we? Um, Atlanta's way too far inland for what we're trying to do here, though. So, I'll have to get Atlanta on a different trip. We will be flying over Savannah, though. Okay, so that's Osaba Island, and that's Savannah, I think. Yep, uh, this area is Savannah, Georgia. And that is the border of South Carolina and Georgia, the Savannah River. So right there, border of Georgia and South Carolina. Okay, I believe we're coming up on Charleston here. I think that's Charleston right there. With the many branching rivers. Okay, Charleston, South Carolina has been seen by the SR-71. We proceed. We are now crossing uh, into North Carolina. And this rather distinctive river is Cape Fear River. Interesting name, Cape Fear River. This is Bald Head Island. And Cape Fear River leads up to Wilmington here. A bit of a darker blue hue right now, and that makes me worry that we are going to get nighttime by the time we get to Newfoundland. It's no longer summer. This flight would have been completely in daytime if I was flying in the summer. Okay, we are over Pamlico Sound. And up ahead, this peninsula here is the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. Interestingly, the Alligator River, which is right here, looks more like a bay to me. It doesn't actually have a, you know, it has this little bit here, but uh, it's not a, like a full river attached. It sort of starts here, and that's called the Alligator River. I believe we're coming up on uh, Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina is right here. And let's see appropriate to commemorate the first flight. The Wright Brothers National Memorial is over here, I believe. So, Wright Brothers National Memorial, Kill Devil Hills, what a name, and Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk Woods Coastal Reserve. We have here Virginia Beach and right here is Norfolk, Virginia. And across from Norfolk, Virginia is Newport News and these is all uh, naval shipyard stuff. Ships get built here. Occurs to me that we can uh, fly by Wallops Island but that's over here. And so uh, if we follow this coast up we'd hit Wallops Island which is um, another launch site. 
the other East Coast launch site except for Cape Canaveral. But I, I sort of want to fly over Washington, D.C. So we're going to go this way. So Norfolk. I don't know about that texture right there. I wonder what that's supposed to be. It's definitely a sort of a square thing. I think that's a naval supply center. It sort of filled that area in. There's no detail on the map about that. But this is a naval supply center. And this is... Well, there are all sorts of shipyards here. But... Uh, this is Newport News over here. I'm trying to figure out... Okay. If you see uh, this little point here, opposite that, this here is Yorktown. Famous battle of the Revolutionary War occurred there. Or the War for Independence, if you'd like. You can see why this might be an important place for battles to occur. Very strategic and everything. Uh, okay, that one. Sorry. Sorry, my mistake. That one is obviously the James River, and that's Richmond, Virginia. You can see the airport down there. Wrong side. That's Richmond. Very good. Okay, so we're basically turning north. And this at least is distinctive. This is the Potomac River. And we know if we follow that up, we get to Washington, D.C. Incidentally, uh, it occurred to me that maybe this is being recorded at somewhat lower frame rate than I actually see. Uh, and that's because the game is running off of the same drive it's recording to. Normally I avoid that, like with KSP there are different drives. But inadvertently this is uh, being recorded to the same drive as it's running from. So that could cause read-write delays. I think we can see Washington right there. That's Washington, D.C. Don't know if I can turn severely enough to really get a good look at it. Well, that's Arlington National Cemetery. There's the mall. Let me see. Okay, um, oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, that's Arlington. That's the National Mall. I can barely see it. Sorry about that. Uh, Thomas Jefferson Memorial will be over here, and Lincoln Memorial over here. Yeah. Tough to see anything. Still trying to turn that way. So we have to follow Chesapeake Bay up, and then we'll hit Baltimore and Philadelphia. Okay, so Baltimore should be right here. Let's let these clouds pass, but that's Baltimore. Yeah, it's got these roads that sort of fan out from the center of it. Ah, you can see uh, the waterway there and how it's built along that bay. And if we continue up, then that is the Delaware River. And on this side, on the west side of the Delaware River, is Delaware at first. And then eventually it's going to be Pennsylvania. On the opposite side, it is New Jersey. Ooh, uh, wow. Uh, I think right there. It was downloading the weather or something. I'm going too low again. Maybe I should just go low now. We're going to be hitting many major cities. Maybe slow down a bit and take it easy for a sec. So right around here is Wilmington. Uh, let's see, that island is south of Wilmington. And this is Wilmington, or the general area. And north of Wilmington is Philadelphia, so along the Delaware River. 
Wow, 77,000? Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. And that's Philadelphia International, of course. This is South Philadelphia. Don't know if there's any landmarks I could point out very easily along the Delaware River here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> going down a bit sharply here. Wow. Well, I mean, when you're taking in, I think, I mean, it's having to render quite a large swath of land. So we have to give it some credit for that. So, City of Brotherly Love. This is Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. Again, uh, on the east side of the Delaware River, it's New Jersey. We can sort of make out Staten Island there. Oh, it's a bit foggy. Or glary. I think it's just glary because of the sun. Where is the sun? Maybe. Okay, and so here we have Staten Island. One of the five boroughs of New York City. And so this is New York State. On that side it's New Jersey still. Lots of New Jersey around. Newark is over here. Oh, great. Just when we were trying to do sightseeing clouds, you have to pop up. Well, looks like we're going to have to risk a little bit of fuel consumption here. Let's reduce velocity. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, Brooklyn still. Um, so over here, Liberty Island and Ellis Island. Can't really see the Statue of Liberty right now. I don't even know if it has the scenery of the Statue of Liberty. You can really see it. There's a little spot there. Anyway, uh, there it is. Wave. She can't wave. She's carrying the torch. Anyway, um, the physical buildings are a little bit re uh, repetitive. I don't have scenery for the specific buildings. In fact, I don't even think there's an Empire State Building in here. So that's the downside. Otherwise, uh, just the sheer number of buildings and the way it looks is fantastic. And of course, Central Park there. But yeah, I'd love to get uh, proper buildings for this scenery. The real buildings. I know, I mean, for Flight Sim 10, there was definite uh, scenery like that. Aerosoft had made it. And then up here is Harlem, and then this is the Bronx up here. And let's get back up. Still looks great. I mean, just absolutely looks great. All right. So let's get the accelerating away view of Manhattan Island, Brooklyn, and the Bronx. We are still following 95, by the way. Um, highway 95 is there. I say highway. Interstate 95. It's a Connecticut Turnpike here. And with this bay, this is New Haven. New Haven, Connecticut. Home of Yale University among other things. Wow, that's pretty cinematic. I'm, I'm trying to figure out cinematic things, uh, but you can't shift the camera the way you can in Kerbal Space Program using the middle mouse button. It's always focused on the aircraft uh, directly. I would like some more exciting ways of pointing the camera. It's funny, uh, are any of the islands that are in Rhode Island actually called Rhode Island? 
Uh, Newport, Rhode Island is over there. And right at the top of this bay is Providence, Rhode Island. Well, here's Boston. Um, more specifically, uh, there's Boston. You can sort of see the buildings there. Here, I think I have some scenery around here for Boston, which is nice. Oh, jeez. The mist again. Okay. Oh, I see the runways. So I was looking for the runways at uh, Boston Inter uh, Logan International here, and we can see them now. Hello, runways and downtown Boston. Ooh, choppy though. Lots to load though. At uh, 500 knots plus. I've seen you all post-apocalyptic, Boston. You're a lot flatter than it is in Fallout 4. Definitely. Okay, time to turn north and accelerate as well. Well, at this point we're basically departing the United States. And we're going to be headed over Canada, uh, this is uh, still Massachusetts, but we're headed over the Atlantic, then over Canada, and then landing at St. John's, Newfoundland, and Canada. Well, this view would be pretty epic without the info dialogue in the corner there, except for the telltale streak of an X-15, of course. That's a little bit disconcerting. Okay, well, unfortunately, I uh, did not follow the course I intended, so we're north of Halifax. I wanted to pass over Halifax, Nova Scotia, but we're well north of that, so we're going to miss it. But at this point, I just want to get to St. John's, hopefully before sunset, but uh, the sun is rapidly descending. Where is it? It's right there. It's not much time left if I want to land in daylight. Well, this is the view from the cockpit. And we have 300 miles to go. Looks like I was just a bit too late. Maybe uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes more and uh, earlier. If we had departed 10 minutes earlier or done 10 minutes less sightseeing been able to land in daylight and of course you know I expect they'll have the lights on at St. John's right well the lights just turned on in the cockpit but uh, yeah St. John's keep the lights on for us whoa 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 I just made a very abrupt turn and I was just a little bit worried that I was gonna stress things out Gotta be careful about such things, especially now that we're close to the end of the trip. You just know at this point that the simulator is getting ready to dash my hopes. Maybe that's because Kerbal Space Program has conditioned me to think like that, but still. Uh, always worry at the end of a flight. It's nighttime, very eerie. Wish it didn't get dark so early around here. Maybe I should have tried to cross the Atlantic from New York to London direct, just to see if the SR-71 could do it. I'd really have to go high altitude and probably a little bit slower than Mach 3 to manage that. You know, go all the way up to 80,000 feet. I don't know if I'd have to go slower than Mach 3, but I mean, there's no point going lower altitude when there's nothing to see, of course. So, I guess there's that. Okay, well, I finally see our target on the map. CYYT is St. John's. 
take a peek outside. Yeah, definitely clouds under me. Jeez. You can see the fluffiness. Oh, uh, nope, nope. I don't know if there are any lights down there. We better stick in here, otherwise we're gonna go fast into the ground. I'm assuming the train is fairly flat around here. Well, this is not the first time I've tried to fly into Newfoundland and had a whole lot of clouds in the way. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a low cloud layer. It's really hard to slow down right now because we're so light. Okay, we are going through clouds. Oh shoot, and we're descending quickly. 1,800 feet. Man, I don't know if I can land here. We're 1,500 feet and it's like flash, flash, flash. I mean, I'm pretty sure St. John's is pretty much sea level. Which is good, because there isn't much between me and the ground right now. Okay, wow. Whew. Well, city lights out of a sort, and now we're underneath all of it. Okay, well, glad to see that there's some limit to those clouds. Holy crud. Yep. <laughs> we're at 1,200 feet. Oh, shoot. And that's too high. Okay, keep turning this way. This is going to take some guts. Okay. I see inklings of an airport. Yeah, I see a runway. Got to totally abused GPS in order to help me out here. <sighs> okay, don't go up. I don't want to have to encounter clouds again. Right. Okay. Just gonna get the gear down now. Whew. Wow. But I've been down this way before, so or up this way before. So I know how the weather can get sometimes. Uh, okay, where did the runway go? Oh, there it is. Shoot, we are way high and probably, well, not that fast actually. Not as fast as we could be. Okay, but high. Definitely. This is going to be rough. Sorry, folks. But I'm definitely not going around with the cloud cover the way it is. Oh man. I don't know how much runway there is. Oh, 
Probably not enough. Oh, maybe? Oh, they built a good runway. A runway when you really need a lot of runway. Good times. Welcome to Newfoundland. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Okay, but we made it. So counts. Oh, where is the taxiway? I can't see. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna park it right here. Well, we're gonna be taking off and headed across the Atlantic. And we'll be doing some sightseeing across the Atlantic. Of course, I'll cut out the Atlantic mostly unless I'm seeing something somewhat vaguely interesting. You know how it is. But here we are in Newfoundland, and we're going to make it across the Atlantic in good time, I'm sure, with this plane. And on that note, and in this darkness, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.